Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today, we are going to be reviewing Infinite Painter. So first off, we're going to talk about the price. Infinite Painter has a one time payment of $9.99. You don't have to worry about any subscription plans as of yet for Infinite Painter. Uh, they also have a free version and that free version, you can use up to three layers at the device's resolution. You got your solid fill, you have your lasso selection tool, basic transformation, symmetry tools, and you have all the built-in brushes and editing. So you are a little bit limited as far as the tools that you can actually use on the free version. And then we go to the pro version or the paid version, you get HD canvas sizes, you get a bunch of layers. That's literally what they, <laughs> what they say, tons of layers. Um, you get filter layers, then you get layer groups, the ability to group your layers up and organize your layers. And then you get mask. So you get the ability to mask inside of your layer. And then if you're not so sure about, you know, whether or not you want to pay $10 for this application or whatever, blase, blase, they have a seven day free trial. So you can check that out in the Play Store. Now, as far as the price is concerned, I think it's fair. It, it It's, I would call it a paid application uh, because they, they limit you so much, but you can't get in there. You got three layers of draw. You can test it out. You can feel it. You can get the feel of the application. And then it does have a one-time payment. Hey, we love one-time payments over here. So I'm going to have to give the pay part of it or the payment part or the price. I'm going to have to give the price a four stars because it's, it's fairly inexpensive $10 one-time payment. So next up, we are going to be going into the UI, the user interface. When you open it up, um, is it cluttery? Is it a lot of toolbars everywhere? Does it, you know, kind of get you confused? The gestures, everything else like that. Is it easy to navigate within Infinite Painter? So let's take a look at that. So right now, what you're looking at now is the start or the home screen or whatever. I have all of my my little drawings that I've, I've worked on over the past and I can click into that or I can go blank canvas. So let's, we're gonna go blank canvas. And then you can go portrait, you can go square mode and you see the pixel density right there. And then you can change the color. We can have a little texture right there. Hope y'all seeing that. It's kind of hard to see that we we'll change the color of it. So we'll do that with this texture done. We'll go landscape and then we'll go create. And so there we go. So when you look at, when you look at the user interface, it is very clean. This is a clean looking UI. I love it. I, I, I love this this type of feeling. I could just get in here. I could just get in here and just start, start drawing. I love it. Ain't nothing in the way. These toolbars right here, I could take this and I can move it. If I want to put it right there, I can put it right there. If I want to put it on the bottom, I can put it on the bottom, put it on the side over here. I can put it in the middle right here. Like it's simple. It's simple and I can get to it. I can start get. I can start drawing or whatever. Um, and then you have your, your gestures. Your double tap to undo, I think three fingers, double tap. Uh, well, no, three fingers tap to redo. So yeah, two fingers, double tap to, to undo. Then you have your layer toolbar right here. It's it's so minimal. Look, look at that. It's so minimal. And I can add those layers right there. It's so minimal. I, I love it. I love it. So as far as the UI, I, I'm not going to lie. The only thing... Yeah, the UI is good. I, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give the UI four out of five. I'm gonna four out of five stars for the user interface. It is I just love it. Now next up is gonna be the brushes. Claims to have over a hundred customizable brushes. This is this is what they're claiming. I'm not gonna go in there and count all of the brushes, but we are gonna go over and look at some of the brushes. Now we got you. Your pencils, we just scroll down here. You got your pencils, we got your pens, 
See how many pens they got. Calligraphy, marker, paint tools, a lot of paint tools. Watercolor, got your airbrush or sprayers is what they're calling it. Oh, we got more. I, I wasn't expecting all. <laughs> we got chalk, charcoal, design, feel, glow, miscellaneous, screen tone, textures, and harmony. So they got, they, 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 they got a lot of brushes. They got a lot of brushes. They got a wide selection of brushes, very wide. And then you also have the ability to create a brush. So let's see, create custom, boom, boom, bam. Let's create a marker, we got a head. So we got this, look at that. I wanna create that and then the texture, we do that as the texture, create, right? And then now, this is what it looks like now. Let's see, we can have the smoothness up. You can test it out. And I, I like how they got this kind of set up to where as you're playing with it, as you're playing with the uh, adjusting the settings and everything else like that, you can actually see what you're doing. Actually see what you're doing. So we're gonna go light. And that's because the smoothness is, up. let's turn that smoothness down. And also it is tilt. It does recognize tilt. If you see that, see that, there we go here. Does recognize tilt. Hey, we in the game. Does recognize tilt. Listen, if in the painter, if in the painter stepping it up, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I, I, I'll, I'll be all day messing around with this, but you can customize all your brushes. So as far as the brush, the, the amount of brushes, the things that you can do with the brushes, and hold up, they had another they had another option with, with which is the community. So let's click on the community. Okay. So now we have brushes that the community has actually created. And so we can go in. Look at look at these look at all these brushes. Look at all these brushes. Look at all these brushes. I'm still I'm, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. <laughs> look at all these brushes. This is crazy. So let's click on that. Maybe I went maybe I went too fast. Let's just click on that. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, if it, like, I'm finna start, as soon as I'm finna start bragging on on, on a uh, application, it start messing up. As soon as I get impressed, it start messing up. Like, come on, come on. Y'all had, y'all had me. I was, y'all had, I was finna move y'all up. I was finna move y'all up a tier. I promise y'all. I was finna move Infinite Painter up a tier but what is going on? Like, what is what is going on? Okay, so we'll have we'll have to we'll have to come back to to that portion. Uh, if y'all know what's going on here, people down in the comments below, Infinite Painter stands. People who use Infinite Painter, y'all let me know what to do with, with the um, community brushes. Y'all let me know. But anyway, as as far as the brushes goes. I'm going to have to give it a four and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a four and a half, four and a half stars for brushes. Now let's go to the brush performance. How does this brush perform or how does the brushes perform in high paint I mean, in procreate? I mean, in infinite painter, I'll get it right. One, <laughs> one of these days, but how does it perform? So, we're just gonna take a look and we got size up, that up, okay. And this is the regular pencil tool. As you can see, you see that tilt action? It has tilt, it looks. Let me screen record this because because y'all have, have to see how this pencil tool looks exactly like a pencil tool. Like this is how a pencil tool is supposed to look. This is crazy. Let me, let me turn up. This is how a pencil tool is supposed to look. Okay, so y'all saw that. Let, let's go. Let's go to the pen. Let's go to the um, manga inker. And let's go to the size. Let's increase the size. I like it. <laughs> I like it. This. Let's go to the calligraphy. Go to the calligraphy. And these apps. I mean, th these brushes are just performing beautifully <laughs> beautifully so let's go here look oh my god that is cra that looks crazy even even when i start 
even when I put the paint down or when I start to draw, it had, this is just so realistic. Look at that. And y'all can't see it like, like I see it. I, I'm a, um, I'm screen recording this, so I'm gonna let y'all see it in the screen recording, but the colors, I think it's the colors. The colors against this background just really, it really stands it out. Oh my God, this is crazy. I mean, it looks, it looks like real paint. This is crazy. Let's check it out. Let's check this out. Let's check out another one. Let's go purple, one of my favorite colors. And let's, let's go gouache. Gouache, not gouache, gouache. Let's go gouache and see how the gouache looks. Let's up the the size and look at that. And look how light, when I'm pressing light, is light paint. When I go heavy, it's heavy paint and then back to light. So the one thing that I forgot was the blending brush. Now let's go into Infinite Painter and I'll show you the blending brush and how you, their interpretation of blending. Because it's not a specific blending brush. Potentially every brush can be a blending brush. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So right here, so what I'll do first is I'll pick some colors. I will pick some colors that I'm going to blend with. Okay, now the blending tool is right next to the paint tool and it looks like a finger and it's pointing. So once you click on that, you can click into that and then you can choose which blending, well, which brush you're gonna use as your blending brush. So let's go to paint and let's go into the old gouache. Okay, y'all see the settings here. It's a little bit too big. Zero angle, a little bit too big. Okay. Now next up, I'm gonna go right to this edge and start. Start painting with it. Now the only thing with this is that because I'm using an actual different brush, it looks, the texture is, is kind of off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to use the same brush and let's see if, let's see if that changes things. So what brush is this? This is the Filbert. Okay, so we're gonna go here then we're gonna look for the Filbert, okay? And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna blur. I want it to pull a little bit. Let's try to flow to seven and let's see. Now, as far as the blending, I, I, I like how it's blending. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I like how it's blending. Um, only thing I don't like is my strokes is the texture is not coming all the way through. That would be my only problem. And maybe that's because my blur is up too high. And so let's try to peel it back some. Let's go up some. All right, then let's go to erase. All 
Let's see what we got here. There we go, the blending. This brush engine, I'm about to say five stars. Listen, I'm about to say five stars. Ain't nothing perfect, it's four and a half. The brush performance on Infinite Painter, four and a half stars. The developers, give yourselves a round of applause. The brush engine is magnifique, magnifique. Like it's, it, it, this is crazy. This is crazy. So let's let's move on because I'll stay on this all day. I'm about to start drawing on y'all. <laughs> I'm about to start drawing a portrait on y'all. But so let, let's move on uh, to the next. We're going to move on to the next section. So next up, we're going to look at the layers, the different layer mode, blending modes, uh, different options within the layers and things like that. So let's move that right there. So let's go into the layer up here. We have the different quote unquote filters or uh, blend modes within this. And they have a lot. They have a lot, a lot of options, a lot of options. And you see right there, like if I pick darker, uh, if I pick overlay, I have this scale right here. I can control it. That's nice. That's nice. So we have hide, of course, hide the layer, duplicate, clear, lock, merge, delete, clip, um, select, and mask and then we have this button right here hide so you can hide this while recording so i can hide it while recording that's that's pretty dope now the one thing the one thing that i do not see within this layer is like a reference layer so here is one thing that almost slipped almost slipped out i almost forgot but infinite painter had claimed that they had the ability to group layers now, if you look at the screen right now, I do not see where the group layer function is. I don't see it. Now, it may be within a menu, within the menu, within the menu. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't know. Also, I am a, a beta tester. Beta! I am a beta tester. So, I don't know whether they took that out for my version of Infinite Painter. I, Listen, I don't know if y'all have the regular version and y'all have the ability to group layers. Hey, no file, no harm. But right now on my device, I don't have it. I don't see it. Now, this is not really a big thing for me, but it could be a big thing for you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take off points for that because you know, y'all claim that y'all got it, but then I look into the app and y'all ain't got it. But it, it's, it's good though. I'm not gonna lie, it's good. I'm, so I'm 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 gonna give it three and a half. I'm gonna give it three and a half. The layers, layer options, um, how many layers you can have, and things like. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. They could add some more um, features and things like that to the actual layer system, but it is it is good and it is simple. It's it's more than what I would use. I don't really even use that many. Um, options within the layer within the layer system so next up is going to be the tools what type of what type of tools y'all got going on in infinite painter so we got tools we got fill gradient pattern clone uh we got line line tools uh hatching let's check out the hatching so that's supposed to be hatching lazy okay that's <laughs> that's interesting um, we got your shape tools. Uh, we got your symmetry tools, vertical, horizontal. Um, let's, let's do that one. Let's clear. And let's change. I like this color. So they got that. Let's clear that off. They also got perspective, right? So they got one point perspective. That's what it looks like. You got three point perspective. Okay. So that's also good. You got. Ah, uh, the spear. I never seen the spear. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I'm 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 rocking with y'all. I'm rocking with y'all. I'm rocking with y'all, Infinite Painter. Then we got um camera, fit, flip, lock, navigator. Okay. Then we got edit, uh lasso tool, transform, edit, color, filters, curve, uh liquify, uh, crop, resize, straighten, panels. Oh, panels. Okay, panels for, for manga or whatever you would like to uh, 
create. Look at there. That's dope. You can thicken them up, slow them down. That's okay. I'm rocking. Okay. I see. I see y'all. Let's go. So as far as as far as tools go, um, they definitely have enough tools here. Definitely have enough tools here. I, I'm I'm gonna be giving the tools a three and a half, three and a half stars for tools, three and a half for tools. Now next up is gonna be saving. What format can I save out of Infinite Painter? So let's go right to it. Let's go export. So we got format right now. We got PNG. Let's hit that. So we got JPEG, WebP, PSD, Zip, Painter Project, Template. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially that PSD, because then, then you can export it with all of your layers intact. That's I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And so really, I mean, to be quite honest with you, that's that's well, that's that's enough. That's well enough. That is well enough. So as far as the saving feature goes, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a four, a four out of five. I'm going to have to give it a four out of five. So next up, we are going to be talking about the app stability. How stable is this application while drawing on it? Now, I've been rocking with Infinite Painter since the Samsung 7 Plus, and I got to say all of that while I've never had any problems with the stability and, and things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do now, or what you're seeing now is me just drawing on different layers, trying to trigger some type of uh, lag, crash, uh, stability issue, and things like that by putting up multiple layers and drawing on multiple layers and things like that. And so when I got to about 34 layers, when I slowed it down and try to really use the pressure sensitivity, you know, as far as um, um, hard pressure, soft pressure and things like that, that is when I kind of saw a little bit of lag, just a little bit of lag and, and, and things like that, but it didn't crash or anything else like that. And so, like I said before, I haven't had any problems with crashing, lagging, uh, glitches, or anything else like that. And then that also depends on your actual device. Uh, my device, Samsung S8 Ultra, it, it is a base model. It's not specced out. I'll just say that. It's not a specced out model. It is the base model. And as you can see, I'm drawing on like 34, not like, but I'm drawing on 34 layers here. And I think when you get to 20 layers, 25 layers, 30 layers and things like that, I think that is that is enough to get done what you're going to get done unless you're like a, a person that like loves layers. I've, I've seen a lot. <laughs> uh, but I've seen people use like 100 layers and things like that. But 34 layers, that's that's not the limit. But that's that's just as far as I went just to show y'all that, hey, you can have these amount of layers and these this is kind of the effect of having 34 um, layers and trying to draw on each and every single one of those layers. So for the stability of the application, I'm going to have to give it four stars, four stars for stability. So drum roll, please. So overall, Infinite Painter, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five stars. This is just an excellent, excellent drawing application as far as the, the price. $10, you unlock everything. The brushes, wide selection of brushes. Um, you also can create your own brushes. Uh, they also have community brushes, which I, I, I can really figure out how to use them. Somebody down in the comments below. Uh, comment let me know how to use them and then the performance the performance is just really just it, it just really just set the standard infinite painter just set the standard on like how your brushes should perform on this application it, it, the realistic look of the pencil tool and the paint was crazy it was crazy it was like i was actually painting <laughs> But nevertheless, you get all of that for $10. And so that's why Infinite Painter is a four out of five stars. If you are an Infinite Paint user, 
what are some of your favorite features in infinite painter let me know down in the comments below but anyway i hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today if you did hit that like button smash that subscribe button and as always i'll let you next time believe that